Today I'm going to film in an 18th century house just across the road. Lucky me. Lucky me. In 1996, I heard Bach's Goldberg Variations for the first time. The sounds coming from my humble cassette player of the legendary version by Glenn Gould have lived inside my head ever since. However, the vast range of feelings that the piece produced in me was tempered by the realization that, as a violinist and not a keyboard player, I would never achieve playing this most iconic of works myself. But one can always dream. Years later, it's become clearer to me that, although the violin is a melodic instrument by nature, many composers, especially Bach, wrote for it in a way that enhanced its possibilities, making it sound almost like a polyphonic instrument, like a harpsichord or an organ. So, even though on a violin you can't really play more than two melodies at once, in Bach's Say Solo, or the famous Sonatas and Partitas for solo violin, the composer becomes a master of illusion. He creates the effect that three or even four voices are sounding at the same time. Eventually, I did it. I started transcribing one of the most complicated pieces for keyboard from the 18th century into a piece for solo violin. It was madness. It felt like trying to fit all the furniture and decorations of Versailles Palace inside a tiny studio in Montmartre. Very soon, I realized that I might have started a lifetime project. As Antoine de Saint-Exupéry wrote, it seems that perfection is achieved not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing more to take away. Goldberg Variations were published in 1741 and it's quite unclear why they ended up being called the Goldberg Variations. Very, very hard to do all this by yourself. But I'm very lucky to have this space. Very lucky. In today's recital, I'll be performing the opening aria and the first seven of Bach's Goldberg Variations. The aria is the piece from which all 30 Goldberg Variations spring. It's like being at home, like holding someone you love very tight, whispering that everything is going to be alright. The melody is built on a ground bass a circular set of harmonic chords that never stop, like they have been going since the dawn of time. Then the variations start. Variation 1 is a quick, strong dance, possibly a polonaise, contrasting with the slow, rocky mood of the aria, like saying, come, now the fun starts. Variation 2, on the other hand, has smooth rhythmic contours, while at the same time hinting at the canon to come. And so, the first canon of the Goldbergs appears in Variation 3. A canon is simply a piece of music where a melody is played and then imitated after a short delay. Anyone expecting something starchy or overly intellectual will be surprised by its simplicity and good humor. Until now, the Goldbergs have been characterized by long, limber melodies. But Variation 4 breaks the pattern with short phrases and snappy rhythms. Variation 5 marks the first appearance of fiery virtuosity. And in Variation 6, 
we find the second canon of the Goldbergs, which acts as a continuation of Variation 3, leading us to Variation 7, the end of today's recital.
Thank <laughs> you. 